Kicked out, went to continuation school. There I met with, uh, that's where I met DJMT. And he was rapping, he was doing a lot of stuff. And I showed him some of my flows and he liked them. And everything started from there. Check it out, we grew up tighter every day in every way. But there's a twist in the story that I say, don't trip. One time when I was 18, all choloed out, cruising in a 63. I pulled up to the park, gang bangers on every side. But thanks be to God that he has given us the victory through the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, back in the day, I was, uh, as you heard earlier, I used to rap for uh, the enemy. I used to speak words of death. Now I'm out here speaking words of life. Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. For you, but it ain't enough. I thank you, Jesus, for every day that I live. I thank you, Jesus, for all the blessings that you give. I thank you for the days that are good and that are rough. I died on the cross for you, but it ain't Lord enough. God, I thank you for the blessings. I thank you for the simple things in life I've been forgetting, like blessing me with another breath of life, Lord, and blessing me with a beautiful wife, sure. I know that nothing lasts forever, but we can make the most of it so we can live better. However, whenever my time comes, I'll be home with your Lord after my work is done. This is my I life. Know what about that this would be Come on, y'all, it's okay to clap. Come on now. This, this is for Jesus. This ain't for me. This ain't for myself. If you knew just what I felt, then you would never have no doubt. I don't know how or why I ended up in church. I don't know how or why. God took away this hurt while I stood in front of the altar with my hands up in the air. I didn't think that God was there or if you really cared. But out of nowhere, from my head to my feet, I was filled with the chills and something overtook me. Then I dropped to my knees and tears fell like a rain. Then I asked the Lord, please, for my evil ways. Ruling sovereign, hey, you know you missed them old days. Yeah, you right, possibly, but after that I sober up. Think of Jesus holding up his skin up on the cross for all them drunken nights I'm throwing up. Every thought of blowing up is captured in his flowing blood. I start thinking Philippians 4 and 8 when you showing up. Hey, you know I ain't gonna quit, right? Yeah, I know, but I'm dead to you, and one day I'll be present with Jesus who died and bled from you. Colossians 1 and 15. My grandfather that was brought across, he grew up and raised my father and, and, and my aunts and, and uncles. And, and same thing happened. My, older, my oldest uncle, which is not, he's not here anymore, my father's oldest brother. He was in those days what they called pachucos. 
you know, big baggy pants, the chain. Came and told my mom, and un unknowns to me at that time, that what she was going to do with that day was going to establish what was going to happen with the family from then on. And she accepted Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. Amen. I saw my older cousins and my brothers, and they just looked so exciting in that lifestyle. I recorded a CD, and it got so much attention that police departments started to actually build a, a task force. At this time in my life, I want to tell you something. If you, if you would listen to the last CD I released at this time, you can tell the difference. You can tell that I felt chained. You can tell that I felt tied up. You can tell that I had now become a slave of whatever this thing, this, this, this I thought it was an empire I had built, and, re and I didn't realize, I don't know when it happened, but suddenly I became a prisoner of this empire, and I was just wrapped up in all these chains. Them. I said, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to be looking good outside but filthy on the inside. I said, but God, if you're for real, then change me because I can't do it. I'm so full of hate. I'm full of anger. I'm full of violence, and I can't do it. And you know what? Uh, you might not believe me. You might not believe me, but I felt like as if a thousand pounds of weight started to lift up off of me. those times when you go home and you say, is this all there is to it? Is this all there is? You were just laughing with your friends at the bar, but now you're laying on your bed and you say, is this all life is? And he says, let me come in. And let me come in. 